I rebuke the devil away from me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. What's going on everybody? This your boy Mr. Give Fit. Be -be 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 back with another one. Today I'm going to go through what I eat on a daily basis as far as being on the hustle cut. It's one of the very easiest meal preps you can go through. It's very simple, quick, fast, easy. If you can't go through this, then good luck to you. Because this is, this is pretty easy, man. This is about as easy as it gets. Just follow along, okay? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Simple as that. This isn't hard. You want the body you want, you gotta do things you don't want to do. And then you get accustomed to it. And then once you get accustomed to it, you get so accustomed to it that it is, it's easy. You're not breaking the bank. You're not breaking the bank. You're not breaking the bank. I can't even say that. Breaking the bank. You're not breaking the... You're not breaking the bank. <laughs> and it's very simple and easy to follow, man. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Here we go. So, of course, I'm doing Herbalife. It's part of my nutrition. If you don't want anything to do with Herbalife, click away. I'm sorry. But if you want to know what this is about, then just keep watching. It's very easy, simple. I'm not trying to make money off of nobody. I'm just trying to help you out. Easy process. We're going to do half a teaspoon of this and a, and a cap full of aloe vera. Simple process. Half a teaspoon. Ah, I'm spilling it everywhere. Boom, that's it. That's what goes in your tea. Cap full of aloe vera. Now, if you're hung over, don't try this. Because it will spill everywhere. Boom, cap full of aloe vera. Boom, simple as that, baby. Simple as that, simple as that. That is your tea aloe vera. Those are two steps out of the three steps for your breakfast. Last step, boom. You're gonna do a tablespoon of your protein mix, protein mix drink. Protein mix drink. There we go. You're gonna do a tablespoon, baby. A heaping tablespoon, by the way. Boom. There we go. Heaping tablespoon of protein drink mix. Get you one of the flavors of your choosing. I'm choosing chocolate right now. Of your Formula One. This is the Formula One. I do two scoops of this. Chocolate flavor. It's just amazing too. Two scoops. This is very simple and easy, you guys. There's no magic trick, magic pill. I mean, this is calorie deficit at its easiest. Alright. Boom. I always mix in a cookies and cream. This is also a Formula One shake. You can just do cookies and cream or whatever. I just add cookies and cream because it adds good texture to it. I'm going to do one tablespoon of that. That's your shake. One tablespoon of protein drink mix. One tablespoon of your, for of your Formula One, which is the flavor of your choosing. And then I also add a, uh, a tablespoon of cookies and cream just to add that texture. So, quick rundown. One tablespoon of protein drink mix, one tablespoon of cookies and cream, Formula One, and one table and two tablespoons of your flavor of choosing, choosing the flavor, whatever. So in total, you're getting four. Is that four? You're getting four tablespoons of protein. This adds up to be like around 26 grams of protein for the morning. I mean, two vitamins, minerals, protein. Very easy. Very very easy. And then you drink it with your aloe vera and then your tea. That's your breakfast. And guess what? Same exact thing for your dinner. It's hard, dude. It's hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's hard to do some shit like this for dinner. In the morning, it's easy. You know, because you're not even that hungry. You're like, yeah, let's do this. It's quick. I'm on the rush. I'm freaking late to work anyways. Let's get this done. It's easy. But for dinner, that's where it gets crazy. That's where it's like, nah, dude. Nah, dude. Nah, son. Nah. Okay? Very easy. Alright, tea, aloe vera, shake, that's your morning, tea, aloe vera, shake, that's your dinner. Now, uh, very easy meal prep for your lunch for five days, very easy, I'm taking through it right now. Get about, what is this, five pounds of chicken, five pounds of skinless, boneless, where's it at? Boneless, skinless chicken breast, 
five pounds. Veti Dine-In Long Grain Rice. You just pop this in the microwave whenever you're ready to eat it. Connect it with your freaking chicken and just eat it together, okay? This is very easy. I like doing these because you put them in the microwave. They're fast, easy. They cook like in two minutes, I think. Yeah, two minutes. I mean, it's just fast and easy. I don't like cooking a bulk amount of rice and then putting them in separate containers because they lose a lot of flavor like that. So I just like buying it separately for five days. One, two, three, four, five. Five pounds of chicken, one pound a day. I mean, and then your lettuce, I do half a head of lettuce for each day. So this is one day, two day, three day, four day, five day, six day. I'll have one uh, half of lettuce over to start off my next week. Just like that, very simple, very, very simple. As far as cooking it, I'll go through that right now. This, obviously, you don't have to go through the cooking process because you put it in a microwave for two minutes and you're good to go. This, you don't need my cooking instructions. Cut that bitch in half and put it in a bag, Ziploc bag, and eat it. Volume, volume is the key to success. The more volume you put in your body, this whole thing is like probably like five calories. Seriously. If you eat half of this, you will feel like you just ate a whole pizza. No doubt about it. Now, cooking process for this, you're gonna get you one of these pans. These pans are about $1.50. Very easy to cook in. Once you're done, you don't have to wash the plate. I mean, you don't have to wash the pan or anything like that. Just crimple that bitch together and you're done. Chicken. Chicken, very easy. I'm, I'm telling you guys, this is how, I know this looks very, very like a, what a man would do. And, and I'm sorry, yes, it is manly. But, hey, what do you want me to tell you? You're gonna wash your chicken. Always wash your chicken, always. You don't know where that damn chicken's been. Get your chicken. And once you cook it, it's not gonna be a pound worth of meat a day because it, do, it does lose a lot of weight once you cook it. The fat, it ends up being cooked and turned into grease and you leave it on, it, 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 it just stays on the pan. So yeah, wash your chicken and then season it. I'll take it to the seasoning once I wash it. Put your oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a little toasty in there. 300 degrees Fahrenheit during your preparation of the chicken. Next, what you're gonna do is that this bad boy right here, you're gonna wanna coat it with a, a fat source of your liking. I mean, you can get spray oil, you can get calorie free oil. That's a bunch of bullshit, I don't like doing that. What I like to do, just get some regular butter. I mean, you're already at a caloric deficit, so a little bit of butter ain't gonna help you. Ain't gonna hurt you, dude, seriously. If you're cutting on the freaking, you're cooking, you're cooking fat, like, come on. You're, you're pushing it right now. You're pushing it. Like, live a little, okay? So, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna get about, uh, I don't even track this. In my macros, I do not track that. If you track that, you're, you're, you're losing on life. Two tablespoons. Now, what you wanna gonna you what you wanna gonna do? What you wanna gonna do is uh, you're gonna wanna get a little nasty with it and smear that all over. So you saw there two tablespoons, two tablespoons. You're gonna wanna smear that throughout the whole pan to get a nice even coating and just get nasty with it. I don't know if I can do this while holding the camera, but you don't have to go crazy with it. Like you're painting a freaking wall. It doesn't have to be coated exactly the same everywhere. Just get a rough, uh, a rough spread. I mean, nothing crazy. Because it's gonna melt, it's gonna spread throughout the whole pan anyway. Next, you're gonna put your chicken right there, right on top. Boom, there it is, there it is, there it is. Boom, that's it. Wash your hands, you don't wanna get salmonella everywhere. Isn't that what they call it, salmonella? raw chicken viruses bacteria anyways after that seasoning my seasoning of choice is going to be sazon goya con cilantro y achote this is the best seasoning ever literally guys i'm serious they come in packets get them please freeze this video take a picture and go get you packets of these for this for these five pounds of chicken i'm going to use two packets Two packets, two packets. We're gonna get a little bit of Worc Worcester sauce, a little bit of garlic powder, and a little bit of meat tenderizer. Just like that. 
Just coat the whole chicken. Very light coating the meat tenderizer. Meat tenderizer has a lot of sodium in it, AKA salt. You don't want a lot of salt in your body. Trust me, I've been there, done that. Wanna get a lot of garlic pepper. Not a lot of garlic pepper, what am I talking about? Wanna get some garlic pepper. You don't wanna go crazy with it. This is just gonna add a little bit of flavor to it. Don't go crazy with it because this too has a lot of sodium. You're gonna get your Worcester sauce, or however they say it. And just, just quick dabs on each piece of chicken. Nothing crazy, just quick dabs, quick dabs. Nothing crazy. Just like that. Trust me, if you, if you make this at home, you're gonna love me. You're gonna be like, dude, please give me some more recipes. And I'll be like, sorry dude, this is the only one I got. Anyways, two packets of this. Can't believe I'm doing this all with one hand. There we go. And spread it on each piece of chicken. Each piece of chicken. Get another packet. And I don't track calories and all that, dude. No, dude. That's a waste of life. Really, it is. Unless you're like a model getting paid to do this shit, dude. Dude, don't waste your time. This shit's easy. Don't make it complicated. That's where you people end up not following their diets. And just twist it around. Hey, Pops. Hey, Mom. My parents just got here. What's up, Mom? What's up, Pops? And just twist these around. Get them all buttered up. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? All right, we're gonna go through here. Very easy, very easy. Hey! My mama just got a new Herbalife pen, by the way. She's Five a years. Five years of this uh, distributor contribution service. Boom, just like that. Boom, look at my hands. Jesus. Oven at 300. Put that bad boy in there in the center rack. Then put it up to four, about 425. And you're gonna let that sit there for 15, 15 minutes, and I'll come back to check on it, see if it's good to go. See how easy that was? Easy, cheesy, peasy. That's the chicken. Rice, just put it in the microwave. Lettuce, cut in half, shred it, put it in a Ziploc bag. Easy cheesy. Now when cutting the lettuce, just cut two days worth of lettuce. So like I said, you remember I said, I'm gonna split this in half, and uh, one half for one day, the other half for the other day. Just prep one lettuce for two days. You don't wanna cut uh, on a crazy amount of lettuce because it goes bad really quick once it's cut off the stem. So just prep two days worth of lettuce, half and half. Now a lot of the things that I said might not make sense to you, especially when I'm talking about the Herbalife. Like the protein drink mix, the Formula One mix, they may not make a lot of sense to you because you're not used to the product having it right in front of you. So you actually have to get the product to know what I'm talking about. Because if you don't, this whole meal prep plan was useless other than the chicken part. After 15 minutes, turn it down to 350 degrees. This should start looking like, whoa! Cut up the lettuce. One half in here. The other half in here. Just like that. After 10 minutes, bring it back up to 450. You're gonna let that sit at 450 for about five minutes. After those five minutes are up, turn that sucker off. And that's what your chicken should look like. If you could just see the steam, ow! The steam rolling off of here. And then you just slice it. That's what it should look like. Very juicy. Let me try a piece. Mm. Oh my God. Very good. Very, very good. Then you're gonna measure it out to be about 250 grams in each container. So there you guys have it. Five containers of chicken, 250 grams of chicken in each one. Five containers of rice. 
and then if you remember I said just prep two days worth of lettuce so it's half a lettuce in each one of these so yeah each, each day you're gonna get one of these half a lettuce 250 grams of chicken and 200 grams of uh, long grain rice that's it easy cheesy so there you guys go it's not complicated it's very easy you just have to do it that's the key just do it just do it consistently consistently have a have a lot of discipline in yourself and just do stuff consistently i'm the worst at english words i swear and you'll be successful i promise you i'm gonna do a quick rundown i'll put everything on the uh i'll put everything on the slide right now so you can see exactly how to do it because you may have lost me during the video i did it pretty fast but if you caught up it's pretty cool holler at you guys later this is just a quick video to show you how easy it is to meal prep for five days have a good one i rebuke the devil away from me No weapon formed against me shall prosper